What if I told you that one of the most misunderstood parts of the female body is also one of the most neurologically powerful and emotionally significant? Today, we're cutting through the myths and diving deep into the truth about female nipples. Hi, I'm Dr. Mickey from the health and wellness team at UB Health. As the AI face of UB's global network of over 1,200 medical providers and backed by insights from more than 12 million users, I'm here to help you separate fact from fiction. With so much misinformation floating around online, it's more important than ever to get doctor-approved info you can actually trust. Everything I share today has been doctor-reviewed and approved. Let's start with a question I hear surprisingly often. Why do women even have nipples beyond breastfeeding? The truth is, female nipples aren't just for feeding. They are biological, emotional, and neurological powerhouses that serve a variety of roles. Yes, from an evolutionary perspective, female nipples are essential for breastfeeding. But the skin around them, called the areola, is packed with nerve endings and smooth muscle, making them extremely sensitive to touch, temperature, and hormonal changes. Their finely tuned sensors connected to everything from emotional bonding to sexual response. And yes, science backs that up. In fact, studies in neuroscience have shown that nipple stimulation activates the same region of the brain, the somatosensory cortex, that gets triggered during genital contact. This means that compared to other areas of the body, the nipples are uniquely wired for both nurturing and pleasure. It's not a contradiction, it's complex biology. I remember one patient, Naomi, asked me why her nipples suddenly felt more sensitive during her period. That's completely normal. Hormonal shifts during menstruation, pregnancy, and even menopause can make nipple sensitivity fluctuate dramatically. For some, nipple touch offers comfort. For others, it can feel overstimulating. The key is understanding what your own body is telling you, without judgment. So, if nipples are so biologically similar between sexes, why are female nipples treated so differently in society? This brings us to a fascinating psychological concept, perceptual double standards. A man's bare chest is commonly seen on TV at the beach, even in marketing. But a woman's nipple? Often censored, blurred out, or flagged online. This isn't grounded in science, it's cultural. Across many societies, strict modesty norms teach us to see the female body as inherently provocative. But research shows that these reactions aren't hardwired, they're taught. In cultures where female breasts are seen as natural and not inherently sexual, there's far less social anxiety around them. Movements like hashtag free the nipple aren't just about shock value. They're about rewriting the narrative and recognizing that censorship often tells women more about society's discomfort than about their own bodies. And here's something to think about, disconnecting women from their own anatomy through shame, silence, or censorship, can have real mental health consequences. Many women grow up internalizing the message that parts of their body are inappropriate or even shameful. This can lead to body image issues, anxiety, and a lack of self-agency. On the flip side, open conversations and body-positive education foster empowerment, confidence, and emotional well-being. It's not about overexposure. It's about understanding and acceptance. Let's also get into something practical, caring for nipple health. If you experience chafing, dryness, or itching, especially during colder months or breastfeeding, there are home remedies that can help. Applying a small amount of medical-grade lanolin or coconut oil can soothe irritation. Wearing breathable, non-synthetic bras helps reduce friction. And during breastfeeding, make sure baby's latch is deep to prevent cracking. If these don't help, consult a healthcare provider. Persistent irritation may be a sign of dermatitis or another skin condition. And remember, nipple sensitivity is deeply individual. Some women find pleasure. Others feel nothing. Some feel discomfort, and all of it is normal. Your version of normal matters most. So let's stop letting stigma shape our health. It's time we appreciate the incredible depth of the female nipple, not just as a physical feature, but as a symbol of nourishment, emotional connection, and personal autonomy. Worried about your own health? Start by checking in with a UB symptom checker at ubhealth.com. It's medical grade. Doctor approved AI is like having a full on call healthcare team right in your pocket. Always 100% free. 
And hey, if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and follow for more doctor-approved info you can trust from UB Health.